Our district vision is that all schools will be engaged in the work by 2020. And so we started with the first cohort of schools in 2015. There were six schools. Uh, and so schools apply to be part of the redesign process. Uh, and by the year 2020, all 50 schools in our district will have redesigned around this North Star student agency and have gone through the school redesign process. So in 2013, the district really clearly defined this vision for personalized learning, the, the five pillars and the North Star direction of student agency. Um, the school redesign process enables schools and encourages and actually requires schools to go through and think through each one of those pillars and say, what does that really need to look like on the ground in our school? So take, for example, the authentic learning tenant. Um, schools can decide what authentic learning should look like in their school. Some schools have gone a really sort of more traditional, tighter project-based learning approach. Some schools have really committed heavily to service-based learning. Some schools have kids doing capstone projects uh, and that kind of thing. And so everyone will, um, through the school redesign process, figure out what authentic learning looks like in their school, but they have latitude within that um, guardrail, within those guardrails to say what it looks like operationally on the ground in their schools. And a lot of that's really based on the culture of the school, the community um, that that school serves, what the strengths have already been of that school. Um, so if the school already had a strong history of service-based learning, for example, we want them to continue on and get better and deeper at that work. Uh, we don't want to stop anything that's been successful in a school community before. So that's the kind of loose, tight balance that the district provides through to the schools through the redesign process.